This is project 20 of Hacking with Swift. In this project, another game, we're letting users create fireworks displays using their fingers. They'll need to touch fireworks of the same color, then shake their device to make them explode. Shaking an iPad isn't the most pleasant user experience, but I had to find some way of teaching you about shake gestures. Along the way, you'll meet timer, you'll use sprite color blending, and you're gonna try the follow sprite in action. This is a big project, so let's go straight to Xcode. Create a new Xcode project. Choose iOS, then game for your project type, and press next. Call this thing Project 20. Make sure it's down as Sprite Kit with these three checkboxes unchecked. Then press next and create on your desktop. As always with our game so far, please change devices from Universal to be iPad. Then uncheck Portrait and Upside Down, that's only Landscape Left and Landscape Right. Now download the files for this project from GitHub. They're at github.com slash two straws slash hacking with Swift. I had them ready on my desktop. So in Finder, I'll open up hacking with Swift and look for project 20 files. And type there, content. You see there's three pictures and two uh, particle systems, these two SKS files. I want to drag the three pictures into my asset catalog. So in Xcode, I'll open up assets.exe assets and drag in background, rocket, and spark into there. Then explode and fuse into the main project below info.plist, like that. Boom, finish. You should, like always with Sprite Kit, go through the cleaning process to make Apple's template usable. That means deleting actions.sks, move to trash. It means going into game scene.sks, deleting hello world, going to this inspector up here and changing its width to be iPad sized. So that's 1024 and height 768. An anchor point will do bottom left corner, so 0, 0. And finally, open game scene.swift and get rid of nearly all the code. So that is going to be this uh, import gameplay kit. It's going to be uh, these two nodes. Then everything inside did move, all the rest of these methods down here, down to the end of update, leaving just that, an empty did move to view method. As always, please use a real iPad device if you can, or choose a suitably old iPad simulator, for example, iPad Air.